Hi, I'm Dr. Young. I'm talking about uh, scar revision today and uh, demonstrating this on a, a, a procedure that uh, we're doing today. Um, essentially, what I'd like to show you, um, if you zoom up here, is these are just a number of scars um, that uh, we're trying to improve. Now, just from the obvious uh, whole picture of this area, there are a number of scars that we're not going to treat and the reason for that is because if we did every single one it would increase the tension and then result in a reoccurrence of the scars so there's a principle behind us doing a few of these in order to decrease the tension um, in general on our closure now what I what I'm demonstrating here is uh, there is a scar here that's in the shape of a sort of a fusiform type of shape. But um, we have drawn uh, in the outer margins of the scar a pattern. This is called a geometric line closure pattern that we're preparing to do. And the principle behind this is that the human eye sees any line that's greater than 1.7, oh, uh, excuse me, 0 0.7 centimeters so a centimeter is about from here to here and any line that's longer than 0.7 in that uh, distance which is about here a person will uh, see or notice a pattern so anything longer than that needs to be broken up and that's the whole principle behind the geometric line closure now the other way to do this is to do a running Z or excuse me running W plasti closure that does uh, satisfy the goal of breaking up the long incision or long scar in, that is longer than 0.7 centimeters, longer than this distance. However, with the running W, it creates a pattern that people will notice. So this is the, this is the geometric line closure is an improvement in that idea in the sense that you're doing either triangles squares or half circles, quarter circles to break up that straight line. And this is what that's demonstrating here. Here's a half circle, here's a square with this long scar and the coinciding matching pattern. And this is, the, this is just showing us in the process of doing that. This was originally uh, a scar that was this length and we made the, um, we took out the pattern and then we're going to close it. And this shows the result of that closure. And what we did here, one, one interesting point that I wanted to uh, demonstrate here is that most of the sutures that I've done here are underneath the um, area that we took out. Uh, we avoided a lot of the superficial closure by, by doing the closure underneath here. And these are the line, or the the sutures that are coming from this uh, area that we improved. And this suture goes in and out underneath so that we avoid making any marks and sutures on the outside. So that improves the ultimate result of the uh, scar revision. Uh, so we're going to continue doing the rest of these. This is the next one and we're going to close it. We close with some deeper sutures to bring the edges together and and then we further follow by more closure and then a super closure so essentially we do approximately three layers of the closure so essentially that's sort of my principles of scar revision uh, usually after we do the uh, scar revision at about six to eight weeks we then consider doing some resurfacing now that's the earliest point that we would actually do uh, some sort of resurfacing to actually make that uh, reconstruction look better from the surface standpoint and you can do deep chemical peels or CO2 resurfacing uh, in that regard in terms of doing the resurfacing that's the earliest point that I would consider doing that but you can wait later doing that six to eight weeks takes advantage of the wound healing properties that occur at that point and that's sort of the standard in terms of what people feel is the the best time to do resurfacing but it's okay to wait later so essentially those are my uh, principles of uh, a scar revision and uh, thank you